Hello traders, I'm Juan Maldonado from the Elliot Wave Street and it's a pleasure to be with you today to start your week with some wave counts. Please read our disclaimer at Elliot Wave Street. And we are going to work this week, one of my favorites is the Euro. I'm about to short the Euro soon. I'm getting re ready the levels for, for my members, for my clients, I think. Uh, the euro uh, it's doing an extension a little wave extension with a wave one and two inside this will be the wave one this will be the wave uh, two and here we are going to start with the beautiful wave three so uh, soon my members are going to get the specific uh, entry uh, with a target at the previous low at least so it's going to be a quick trade back to the lows and if we can get more fantastic and uh, let's have a look now at uh, the S&P. Uh, the S&P, from uh, the daily chart perspective, it's in a bullish uh, trend. So the S&P has been making higher highs and higher highs. Uh, from last week, one of my biggest um, uh, questions or concerns about the S&P is if here, if it's going to continue higher or if this is a market top and we are going to see the S&P going down back to the previous low, that of course is a big question here. And in order to solve it, we are going to use Elliott Wave, we are going to lower time frames and we are going to plan a trade. Are you ready? Let's continue down. Let's continue uh, to the four hour chart. On the four hour, we are seeing the price uh, starting the reversal pro process. Here we have the previous high, a invali Elliott Wave invalidation, if the price continues here, it's going to resume the trend and it's going a higher if that happens. So here is the big question, right? Is it going to be a reversal or not? So what I'm going to do to validate and to answer the question is to first wait for first step is to wait for the five wave sequence down. One, two, three, four, and five. Once I have the five wave a sequence in place, I want to start um, looking for the three wave sequence up A, B, and C. Okay? And once I have the three wave sequence, I don't know how deep this wave two is going to be. I'm going to place my sell order. All right. So look, first of all, I need to have the five wave sequence and then the three wave sequence up to make sure that this is a valid scenario. Because right now I only have a three wave sequence. So, if the price starts uh, going up, going higher here, it could be a different setup. And the price could continue higher and can make a higher high if it fails to make the five wave sequence. So, if you join my membership, uh, the Elliott Wave Street membership, uh, I'm going to guide you this week during the entire process with the specific levels to to get into the short trade on the S&P and start following the leg down with the validation. Right now, we don't have anything. It's just the yes scenario. But if you join the membership, I'm going to guide you through the process of selling the S&P. Now, uh, let's have a look at the dollar index. The dollar is climbing. It's going up. The target uh, for the week is the 147. It seems that we are going to have a pretty, pretty nice leg up on uh, the dollar. A stronger dollar uh, will mean um, a weaker euro, a weaker Aussie, a weaker pound, a weaker New Zealand dollar. And uh, those are going to be trades as well for the week. So pretty interesting week to go into these markets. And uh, please take your trial your Elliott Wave Street, Street trial, just to visit ElliottWaveStreet.com and under the membership tab, 
here you will see our plans where you can pick uh, if you're a forex or if you're a stock trader you can pick any of the plans and start following the trades and start following the the setups all right please have a fantastic trading week thank you for watching and i'll see you inside the membership take care bye bye